Welcome to Slice Register. This is a quick introductory video to help you get familiar with your system's functionality. After watching this video, you will be able to confidently navigate your Slice Register's user interface and perform day-to-day -day tasks. First, start by logging into your Slice Register. You will use the same credentials you use to log into your Slice Owners portal. Once you've successfully logged in, you will need to select the terminal profile you wish to log into. If your setup consists of only one register, tap the register profile that is shown on the screen. If you have a multi-register setup, select an available register profile. When you first log into your Slice register, you will be brought to the order screen. The main screen consists of three sections, the navigation menu, your food menu, and the bill view. The navigation menu allows you to move between the order management, customer management, shop availability, and cash management screens. Delivery management, employee permissions, and caller ID will appear for shops that have activated these on-demand features. If you still have not activated these features, please call 888-974-9928 to speak with a product specialist. The menu section holds your food categories and items. To modify the layout of your register menu, add new menu items, new modifiers, or update pricing, log into your owner's portal at owners.slicelife.com. Lastly, the bill view allows you to view the current order you are working on. Different elements will become available once you add items to the order. You will start an order by selecting an order type and browsing the items on your menu. If you do not select an order type first, the order type will default to To Go. To add an item to an order, you will look through your categories until you find the correct item. Tapping the item will add it to the order. Optionally, you can use the search functionality to look up the items by name. Notice how the menu items are filtered out? As you type the name, you can toggle between browse and search and use the method that works best for you. For any of your menu items, if any choices are mandatory, such as the type of sauce for a pasta dish or the type of crust for a pizza, the modifier model will pop up to allow you to make those choices. Required selections are denoted by an asterisk. You will not be able to continue the order process until all required selections have been made. You can collapse the view for items on the check with multiple toppings or modifiers. This will allow you to see more of the menu items on the check while hiding their details. You can expand the view by tapping the item again. Once you have an item on the check, you can enter multiple quantities of the same item by tapping the number 1 next to the item name and using the plus and minus buttons. For larger quantities, you can tap the number in the middle and use the keypad to enter the exact quantity. To update the toppings or modifiers for an item after it has been added to the check, tap the item to expand its view. Next, tap the modify button and select the correct modifier tab. For pizzas, the choose toppings tab will allow you to add left half toppings, right half toppings, and double toppings with a second tap. To remove the topping, simply tap the button until it becomes deselected. Your modifier screens will show up to 20 options at once. You may need to use the left and right arrow buttons to cycle through all your modifiers. If an item needs a special preparation not included in your modifier categories, you will need to use the item note button next to the modify button under the item. Here, you can select from the common notes or type in your own note. Tap Add Note when you are finished. There are three ways to remove an item from a check. The first option is to do a quick right to left swipe on the item. This will reveal the clear button, which you must tap to remove the item from the order. The second option is to do a longer right to left swipe on the item. This will remove the item at once. Both these options will cross out the item to let you know they were removed from the order, but they will still be visible in the bill view. 
The third option is to use the more button in your screen's top right corner and choose clear order. This option will clear the entire check and allow you to start a new order. If you need to add a unique charge or add an item missing from your register menu to a check, click on the custom item button at the top right corner of the food menu. This is open food. You can add an item name, quantity, and dollar amount. If necessary, any customizations like toppings or modifiers must be added as a note. The only required field for a custom item is the dollar amount. Adding a name or note will be optional. Custom items will not be included in your sales mix report on the owner's portal at owners.slicelife.com. These sales will be included in the sales summary on the slice register and order activity reports.